Some argue a bill making its way through the Kansas State House could give doctors protection to lie to pregnant women. On the heels of a wrongful birth lawsuit in Oregon, we told you about last night at 10, it is getting big attention. Lindsay Shively has more. That's right. The Kansas bill is getting ready to go to the House where it should pass. Now, abortion rights advocates say they are furious that part of this bill gives doctors a legal out to keep information from expectant mothers if they fear that mother would abort their pregnancy. Those against abortion argue this bill simply protects the doctor from the pressure of being sued for not performing a long list of expensive tests. It does not, they say, protect doctors from lying to their patients. Lying, Kansans for Life says, would still be considered malpractice, and that, of course, is punishable. Abortion advocates fire back, saying it's not enough. This new bill protects doctors who would lie and not the mothers-to-be. Absolutely not, because there's lots of causes of action that you can take. And if someone would suspect that a physician would lie about something, then they can sue them for lying. And we don't think and, and, and certainly do not encourage and hope no physician would ever lie to a mother about anything and, uh, and, and don't think they do. And if you suspect that, sue them for that. There are some other legal protections that could possibly be in place. I would say nothing is a sure thing. I say, would say this is a deliberate attempt to withhold information from women, inserting a politician into a doctor-patient relationship. When in Kansas we're usually talking about a woman's right to know, we have a woman's right to know act in the Kansas abortion statutes, and here we are creating a law that would deliberately withhold information from women. Last week, an Oregon couple won almost $3 million in a wrongful birth lawsuit. Their lawyer says the couple would have aborted their child had they known she had Down syndrome. In a 10-day trial, he argued that doctors are negligent, misreading tests, which led to a false negative for Down syndrome. We have a lot more on that story and this Kansas bill, again, getting ready to go to the House on KSHB.com. Lindsay Shively, 41 Action News.